today I have this beautiful purple smoky eye for you. It's, I'm using like the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, which is like my new obsession that I recently got on my trip to London. I'm not gonna uh, waste any more time. We're gonna dive right into the tutorial. Before you guys, uh, before we start, you guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can be part of the moment as a mixed plate family. And let me teach you how to do this beautiful makeup in less than 10 minutes. off I have actually done my moisturizing with my physio gel I've already put that on but another thing I've let it set for about five minutes before I'm going to start the next thing to hydrate my skin and I've actually started swearing by Dr. Jackson's everyday oil okay so you can get this at Space NK in London it is a UK based brand so if you're like uh, in London or in the UK you can get it but you can even get it delivered to Pakistan um, I'll see how, how you can and I'll put it in the description below how you can get it in Pakistan but what I'm going to do is that I'm going to apply about two to three drops, one, two, three, and I'm going to apply it to my skin. Not only does it hydrate your skin, it also allows the makeup to set really well is what I've uh, realized. So I'm going to just do, just apply it very lightly on my neck and anywhere and all across my face. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be using the Black Obsidian Facial Rollers by Instaze. So this basically will not only freshen out my skin, that not only does it uh, allow for the uh, moisturizer and the oil to absorb in better, but it will also make my face tighter and brighter and it will roll out and make it look fresher. So all I'm going to do is for about two minutes, I'm just going to go in and roll my face outwards. Now guys, this is a completely local product. This is made in Karachi by Zay. Their Instagram account is InstaZay. And their quality is actually really good. And like, if you're not able to travel abroad, I think it's as good as any roller that you'll find anywhere else in the world. So I'm gonna use the smaller side for my under eye. Okay, so now that my face is prepped and it feels so good, like so, so, so good, like, actually hydrated, actually moisturized. First things first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep my face first, like I'm gonna do my face first and I'm gonna allow my uh, skin to start baking before I start on with my beautiful eye uh, makeup look, okay? So I'm using the MAC NW35 as my concealer, so I'm gonna start off with this first. I just put this on before I even put on my foundation just to kind of give a little bit more coverage on the areas that are problematic. So I'm just gonna apply it very sporadically so I'm applying it under my eye. So I'm gonna let it set for about like a minute and then I'm going to apply my foundation which I'm, I'm using the number seven which is like available at Boots. It's the Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Serum Foundation and it also has an SPF of 15. Even though I have applied my sunblock but this adds a bit of extra uh, SPF. So I've applied it here and what I'm going to do is I'll mix it with more of my moisturizer. You can never be like overly moisturized in my opinion. So about two dollops of this like we've added to here and then I'm going to take a flat foundation mixing brush and I'm just going to mix it out onto like literally onto the palm of my hand and take it onto my face. Now I'm going to go back to my concealer and give it more of a concealer. So like my face now even toned, the extra concealer that I put in underneath has kind of blended into with my foundation and I'm going to go back to my NW35 and I'm going to reapply it to my under eye area which is like the most troublesome area. And now my face on its own is completely prepped to, for me to start my eye makeup. Okay, so now that my foundation and my concealer are set, I'm going to apply the MAC Loose Sheer Powder to just bake my under eye while I do my eye makeup. So I'm going to just take a bunch of it onto my round uh, foundation brush 
and I was apply it, dab it in. Okay, now I'm gonna start on my eyes. First things first, I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. I am using the MAC Spiked Eyebrow Styler, it's the Crayon Sorcels. So I'm gonna take this and go. So I'm going to take the back brush of this and I'm going to just brush my uh, eyebrows out so that it's more diffused and it's not very stark like as it is right now. So just take it and brush it upwards, upwards and outwards, upwards and outwards. Okay, so for my eyes, I'm using, I've act back, base, uh, wow, I can't speak today. Okay, so I got the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, which is this one and it is beautiful so I couldn't find the Huda Beauty palette that I wanted to get but this was the closest that I could get to the Huda Beauty palette and I got it at the duty free so it was like awesome and what I'm doing is I'm gonna do a purple smoky eye for you guys today so we're gonna be using three shades one is guilt trip drift and jet but I'm gonna mix it again then with the Bobbi Brown it's an ombre black eyeshadow. It's in that charcoal number 12. And so these are the four eyeshadows I'll be using throughout this makeup tutorial. Nothing else will be going on. So yeah, I want to start off. All right. First things. I'm going to take Guilt Trip right here. And I'm going to take a flat like a shadow brush. And I'm going to apply it throughout my lid. So guys, I did this over the over December over to one of the Christmas holiday uh, parties in Lahore and everyone loved this makeup look. So I thought that like I should share it with you guys and like people usually shy away from using colored eyeshadow. But I absolutely like I think I want to start using more of it because I think it's like just kind of gives more depth and dimension to your uh, to your makeup and instantly changes up the look. I mean, understand that we have to keep stay true to our skin tone as well. So jewel tones for like wheatish uh, colored girls, especially jewel tones are your best friends. Do not use like bright pinks or like uh, yellows and things like that. Like, I mean, anything that's a warmer undertone will look beautiful on our skin tones. Icier tones are harder to uh, manage when it comes to when it comes to wheatish skin tones, they generally are like, I feel they are like, the warmer and the more gold the undertone is, the better it is for our skin tone. Do you see the pigment guys? Like the pigment is so, so strong and it's so dark. Like I've used, the, I've only used a very little product. So I've just taken it like one dab in and I've applied it across and it has applied evenly across my, my lid. So just gonna blend this in a little more. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a round brush and I'm gonna start using Drift, which is right here. And this is gonna go onto the ball of the eye, right? So the Drift is right here. And this is gonna go onto the ball of the eye to kind of give more dimension. And before I take it into the black, it will give it a more smoked out and a more blended look. I really like this color because it's like a more of a steel gray and it has a bit of glitter to it and shine. So like for the for evening time, it's like a really nice, uh, glamorous uh, shadow to use. And it also takes away from the starkness of a colored shadow that you might be wearing. In my case, the today is purple. So I'm going to take, again, I'm going to go back to Guilt Trip and I'm going to just blend this out a little more on top. And now I'm going to take the Bobbi Brown Black. I decided not to use Jet because um, I, th I think it'll be too much glitter on my eye. And I'm using a smaller flat, again, small flat brush, which is for your crease. And here we go. Here we go. And this is just going to be blending it inward. So we're going to start from the corner and bring the eyeshadow in towards the waterline. So here, and you go inwards. Okay, and then this and upwards. Okay. So I'm not going to be using um, an eyeliner with this look. So my eyeshadow is pretty much done. I'm going to do the mascara and then I'm going to just 
finish off the lower part but before I do that I'm going to be doing I'm going to mix two mascaras so first layer will be of NARS Climax and then will be Too Faced Better Than Sex so I have like in my makeup practice I've realized that this is actually a great like I mean I love NARS Climax it's a great mascara but like mixed with Better Than Sex it just gives you that extreme lift to your lashes and on top of that it also really um, fills out your lashes they become thicker and longer so just go from the bottom of this and move upwards bottom up bottom up <laughs> So now my eye is done, like my uh, mascara is also done, I'm going to take my round trusty brush again and I'm going to sweep off all the excessive um, loose powder that was on my face and what will happen is that any makeup product that has fallen onto my face will get swiped off. So look up and swipe it off, swipe it off, swipe off, swipe, 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 swipe and there we go. Next thing what I'm going to do is, I'm going to be using, okay this is a new product that I was, it was sent to me, this is the Zero Makeup Kajal line, okay, and I'm not joking, I've like, I've tried a lot of like Kajals and I stopped using Kajal because it would bleed, this is a great product by Nabila, uh, again, totally local, available everywhere in Pakistan, uh, it comes with the mascara, like sorry, the Kajal, and it comes with a, uh, what do you call it, an eyeliner as well but I'm not using eyeliner today I'm just gonna be using the kajal okay so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just apply this on my waterline we go then I'm gonna take my original flat brush I'm gonna take more of the gilt strip and I'm just gonna apply it slightly onto the bottom waterline towards the center of here so it's just gonna come in same the residue of the same uh, of the black that I use from Bobby Brown I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna take it from the corner and bring it back into so this eye is done and I'm gonna do the other eye and show you the whole look okay so now both my eyes are done like guys look at this so this is like the purple smoky eye all that I need to do now is just do a bit of like my highlighter and some contouring and then we're done like it is like isn't this the easiest makeup like to do like and it's so glamorous and it really just uplifts the thing so what I'm doing is now I'm using the Huda the 3d highlighter palette in it's like the this is a rose gold edition no golden sands edition and I'm using Seychelles and Tahiti so I'm mixing Seychelles and Tahiti together and like that and then just taking the flat brush and taking it here blend 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 next thing is I'm using my luscious contour kit right here to do my contouring so we'll be using that I'm gonna I usually mix both the top the contour palettes like I mix them together both the colors because I think they match my particular skin tone a lot more so I've mixed these two and I'm gonna take them in and I'm gonna uh, start contouring so in here just like light you want to use the brush like hold it from the back so that you're not over applying the product <laughs> So guys dab this in not like don't make like a very stark line on your face because it won't look good just very lightly so it kind of brings in your natural contours again please never contour your nose because you don't need to change the way you look it is just about enhancing uh, your features that are already there why we contour is but once we apply foundation to our face all the natural contours of your skin are gone so you apply the contours to kind of bring those natural contours back so it doesn't mean that I take my nose here and I take so many of my cheekbones and I completely change the uh, shape of my nose and the shape of my face that is not what contouring is supposed to do for you so you take it in here and lightly bring the contour back into your chin area now that my face is completely done it's just about the lips 
I'm going to start off by using the Trish McAvoy Flawless Lip. It's like a lip primer. Uh, and I swear by this, once you apply this on, your lipstick will not go. If you've seen the rest of my makeup tutorials, you know that I swear by this product. Okay guys, since my eye uh, makeup is super duper dramatic, I'm using Meher by MAC. There we go. Using this for my lipstick. So I'm going to go in and... And on top of this, I'm going to be using Brave by MAC again. Uh, this is also a great neutral shade. It's slightly lighter than uh, Mare. And I'm going to... And to top it off, I'm using... This is the Tarte uh, H2O Gloss, which is like literally just a clear gloss to give my face a glossy, sorry, my lips are very glossy. And voila, guys, it is done. One second, let me. Wow, guys, even though I'm doing this in the daytime, I think I'm ready to go out. Like, I think I can go to a party now. the entire tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it i love doing this makeup like i tried and tested i experimented with it uh this palette is awesome if you guys want more tutorials from this palette i'm gonna experiment with the whole palette and uh bring you guys some more fun looks uh until next time then don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you guys thought take care